Okay, sick. I'm ready. My name is Will Brethauer. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a senior broadcasting digital media major. My interest in videography began back my junior year of high school. We had our high school retreat, um, which we go for this weekend to this camp. You know, a lot of crazy stuff happens at this retreat. And so it's one of the most fun things in high school. And so we were all looking forward to it. The day before, we had a soccer game, and I went up for a header, come down and hit my nose on someone's head and end up breaking it. I wasn't able to do anything during that, during that three day retreat. And it kind of bummed me out, but also I wanted to do something. My dad works at the school, so he runs a lot of the competitions at the, as the athletic director. And he also has a camera just to like take pictures for fun. I just took his camera since he's running a lot of the events and competitions, just thought I'd take some pictures, shoot some video. And during that three day, weekend, I found that I really enjoyed taking pictures and shooting video, which was really weird because I've done it before, but it never really struck me as like a something I was passionate about. And from there, I did an internship that same year with someone who shot weddings, and I actually really enjoyed that too. And I thought, okay, maybe I want to do this in college, study, study film. Um, and so that's really when it started. It was just started, it started really out of the blue. If I did not break my nose, if God did not use that situation, and I got my way and I did not break my nose. I didn't have to sit out six weeks of soccer and miss that whole retreat experience. I would have never picked up a camera. I would have never found the thing that I love, the thing that I do now and that I studied in college. So from then, I kind of learned that you just kind of have to trust God in these moments because I definitely had a bad attitude at certain moments when I had that broken nose. You know, it's not, it's not a fun time at all, but now I'm never, I'll never change that experience. I think that breaking my nose was the best thing that ever happened to me. Getting the opportunity to shoot for USA Swimming was the most random way possible that that could have come about, which is kind of fitting because that's kind of been everything in my life. It's just been random things that happen that lead to another door opening. Kind of like how I broke my nose and it led to me shooting video in the first place. This past winter, me and my friends, my brother, we decided to go out to Colorado where my aunt and uncle live in the Springs. During that trip, I was just talking to my aunt and uncle, saying, yeah, this next summer, I'm looking for an internship or a job, something preferably to do with sports, something along those lines. But I didn't really know what it was. I had reached out to some people and kind of got either turned down or not answered to, or the opportunity just did not happen to work out. So I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do this, this upcoming summer. And I got talking to them and they were saying, hey, if we found something out here in the springs for you to do, would you want to come out here? We'd love to have you um, out here in the summer. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I said, sure, just tell them what the opportunity is. And they were thinking and they were thinking and they came up with some ideas, but they didn't really have anything to do with sports. And that's what I really, really wanted to do. And I said, yeah, I'll definitely think all about these things, you know, and then see what happens. And if you think of anything else or if I can find anything out here, I'll definitely be down to come out. That'd be sweet. So my aunt and uncle are building a new house in the Springs and their contractor had dinner with them one night and his wife happens to work for USA Swimming. And they got talking and I guess it came up that I shoot video and they happened to be looking for a videographer. So it just kind of all worked out where she said, yeah, if you would like to send some work over to us, we'd love to look at it, um, see if he's a good fit, I guess. And so they told me, here's her email, send over some stuff to her and you know, see what happens. I never really thought about shooting swimming. It never even crossed my mind, but that was just one of those weird opportunities that kind of came about from just the most obscure way possible. It was just one of those things where if I didn't go on that trip to Colorado, that would never happen, which is just another God moment that's happened um, in my life where I can clearly see God using a random situation to bring about another super random situation, but something that has been great um, for my life. And it's been clear to see God's hand in a lot of those situations during my life. But I sent over my work to them. They loved the videos I sent over and they said, hey, when can you start? And they sent me a bunch of list of dates that they had. And that's kind of how that happened.
the best thing you can do with videography and film is just taking risks. And if you just go out there and just shoot something how everyone else does, you're never going to make it. But if you go out there and try something, try something new that someone's never seen before, that's when people start to take notice and that's when people want you to work for them and do more stuff for them.